Good afternoon. In fact, PT transformed pay TV in Portugal. I'm here to share with you today how we did it and where we're going next. Let me start by taking you back. Oops, sorry, I don't think this one is working. Okay. Let me start by taking you back to 2008. On the 2nd of April of 2008, at exactly 8 o'clock, in those 30 seconds preceding the evening news, Portugal Telecom announced on the three free to air stations simultaneously the launch of the TV of the future. We announced Mail. Mail arrived in the market with a number of new features and functionalities that had been long asked for and were not yet available. Live Pulse TV, recordings, video on demand, HD, and by the time we were six months old, we had reached 200,000 customers. By the time we were 12 months old, although my graphic isn't exactly working, <laughs> sorry, By the time we were 12 months old, we had reached 385,000 customers. That year, we launched Fiber. 12 months later, we had reached 650,000 customers. That was the year of the World Cup, and then we decided to go interactive. We launched the Blue Button with a marketplace of applications, over 40 applications and casual games. We launched the Red Button, interactivity over the World Cup, and a lot since. We launched 3D. 12 months later, we had 880,000 customers. That year, it was time to leave the TV screen and go multi-screen. We launched MailGo, our OTT service, available on PCs, tablets, and smartphones. By the time we were four years old, we had surpassed one million customers, critical mass in pay TV service in Portugal. Today, we're leaders in 3P, leaders in triple play. Now, how did we get here? What is this TV of the future service? Now, first and foremost, it is about content. Fancy functionality, state-of-the-art technology, but all anchored on content. Content is king. It wasn't easy for us in the beginning. We had to, as a small entrant, work around established exclusivity deals. But we come from the cable industry. We understand content. We have long-term relationships with content providers, some of them here today. It comes easy to us. And so we secured all killer content, 150 channels of all anchor content, and a rich video on demand catalog. With our relationship with content providers, and because they know that if they work with us, they will untap new business models, we have since pioneered in HD, in 3D, in new interactivity formats, in multiple screens. And today, coupled with expertise, we have scale, scale to drive our own content agenda. So we've also launched a number of exclusive local channels with very strong local brands in categories such as sports, entertainment, news, and kids. Now, consuming this content on mail has always been a different experience, precisely because mail came to the market with these different functionalities that make your content experience so much richer. Fast zapping with picture-in-picture -picture navigation and recording with trick modes that make it so easy and so convenient. So today, 75% of our customers record regularly two hours of daily recordings per consumer. Now that is a change in viewing habits. That is, as my CEO said, reshaping pay TV in Portugal. Now how do we get people to use this nice and fancy technology? Ease of use is absolutely key. So we spend a lot of time focusing on usability, doing market research, running focus groups, analyzing consumer usage patterns to make sure that whatever interfaces we come up with are easy to use, intuitive. Now in 2010, with all the anchor content on board, we wanted to keep differentiating our content experience. And so we launched interactivity, the red button. Red Button gives access to contextualized applications over the most popular TV shows and channels. By pressing the red button, a mail customer, on a show that can be available on any operator, on mail, they get a lot of additional exclusive content. Alternative cameras to view backstage of a talent show, for example. Preview of future episodes, a lot of exclusive content for a show that initially was the same on any other pay TV platform. On mail, it's different. I'll quickly take you through a couple of these applications. For American Idol, we did an application where customers could go backstage and view the contestants before they came on. They could look at the jury. They could look at the castings that they had missed. They could vote on their contestants. Huge success with a free-to-air station. We had 
by pressing the red button, we had 1.6 million visits to this application. We've done it twice. We then did it for another reality show, Biggest Loser. Again, with a free-to-air station, if you watched Biggest Loser on Mayo, you got a lot more content. Again, huge success. Two million visits to this application, and the experience on Mayo was different. Recently, this summer, with a teen novella, which is uh, quite famous in Portugal, this Morangos com Açúcar, because we're targeting a generation that moves fast and hates to wait, we did something different. By pressing the red button, teenagers, at the end of each episode, could watch the following day's episode for a small price. Huge success, 60,000 episodes sold in previewing at the end of only two months. And a new revenue stream untapped for our content partner. With Secret Story, a sort of Big Brother format, for the third year in a row, we've been running more than an application. We have an entire interactive channel. So it's a, a reality show that used to have one gala a week on the free-to-air station, now has an entire channel, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. If you're a male customer, you get to follow everything that happens in the most famous house at the moment. In the second edition, we did 14 million visits to the application. This third edition has now been running for a week and we've already done 1.3 million visits. Now this means that content, anchor content, high audience share content on Mail is completely different. Another form of interactivity, our marketplace behind the um, blue button. So by pressing the blue button on Mail, you open a marketplace of over 40 applications and casual games across several categories, music, news, sports, kids. 50% of male customers understand and press the blue button regularly. 2.5 million visits per month. A whole world of content that now finds space on a TV, on mail. There's another colored button on our remote control, and that's green. We started marketing green earlier this year. We launched Mail Canal, the first user-generated TV channel service. With Mail Canal, if you're a mail customer, you can go on a PC, very simple application, upload your content, line it up, and create a channel. One click, and it goes live. You can choose it to be public if you want to be a celebrity for a while, or you can choose it to be private and use it to share your videos and photos with family and friends, for example, making it private through the use of a PIN code. The result, the first network effect on a TV platform, because if I build a channel and you want to watch it, you have to have mail at home to press screen. So if I film my kid's birthday party this weekend and their friends at school want to watch mail, my kids are going to tell them you have to be a mail customer if you want to watch yourself on TV. Huge and very powerful network effect on a TV screen. The result, 25,000 channels created to date, half-half between public and private, 20,000 hours of content on these channels, 113,000 videos uploaded to create these channels. Today, about 360,000 homes have pressed green to watch these channels, and every time they do so, they get to watch a 30-second ad pre-rolled onto the channel because there is a business model behind this service. Early days to say where we're going, but the business model is there. Now, about a year or so ago, Mail felt the need to address the explosion in personal devices coupled with rapid network development that made video delivery to these devices so much more powerful. So as this generation of multitaskers that are always on and demand content everywhere and anywhere takes off, we felt the need to launch our OTT service, MailGo. With MailGo, we deliver 60 channels to PCs, tablets, smartphones, any operating system, be it iOS, Android, uh, or Windows 8. And because convergence is all about being access agnostic, you can access this service through Wi-Fi, 3G or 4G connection of any operator. Of course, if you're a TMN customer, you're going to get free traffic. We also have, uh, and exclusively, we also have download and play for those who want to watch a video on demand on your, on your uh, personal device for greater convenience. You can download it, download a couple of movies, and watch them later. We have two service levels. All our IPTV customers have this experience free of charge at home for a multi-screen service because multiple screens at home are no longer about multiple TVs. It's about multiple personal devices with screens on them where you want to consume your content. So all IPTV customers can have MailGo service for free and they have multi-screen at home. If you want a mobility experience, then for a small monthly fee, you can take mail and all your content with you on your personal device. 
today, 58,000 Meago active users. As my CEO said, we're going to take this number a lot forward as we put more improvement behind the service. 40% of them use the service through their mobile application. And just last September, we had one million mobile sessions to view TV channels because that is, in fact, the most powerful part of the service is live TV channels on your mobile device. Now, this is TV of the, the TV of the future. We have delivered on our promise. We've reshaped pay TV in Portugal. There's lots still to do. And where we're going next is certainly more behind the red button, more interactivity over TV shows and channels as a way to differentiate content experience on mail. More advertising, interactive advertising, because these changing habits and the technology that can be put to our partners' um, availability means that we can do interactive advertising. We started doing that this year, and since January, we've already had 280,000 male customers press on an interactive ad and spend an average of six minutes on the ad site. So this technology can be put to use to explore new revenue streams in a changing um, advertising environment. Blue button. As SAP was now working on a payment platform that my colleague Celso will tell you a little bit about next, and with the first transactional app launched on mail called SAP Voucher, we will see a new generation of transactional applications coming onto our marketplace. Behind the green button, lots more to come with Mail Canal, increased multi-device integration and functionality enhancement behind this platform that is so powerful. Now, there's still the yellow button. We have four colored buttons, but I'm not going to tell you what's behind that one. Uh, can't do that. You'll have to come back in a couple of months and check it out for yourselves. I promise it'll be very powerful. Now, you'll also see the, the remote controls suddenly are no longer all black. They're all different between them. This is because there's another trend that we were exploring, customization, tailoring the Mayo experience to each customer segment. That is also part of our route going forward. Finally, significant advances in storage and video processing have kicked off our roadmap in Cloud TV. We are currently working on network recordings, seven-day catch-up services, and access to personal recordings, delivering personal recordings to your personal devices. These are all service, services that should um, come to light over the next couple of months. And finally, before the year ends, because OTT is such an important opportunity, and because PT is, in fact, leader in delivering true convergent services, we will have a lot of um, innovations coming on um, in terms of MailGo. So MailGo 2.0, the next generation of our OTT service, is going to be start, is, will be marketed before the, the year is over. It will give not only access to TV channels and to our VOD catalog on personal devices, but it will couple that with the remote control of a TV screen. So it will give you um, content discovery enhanced features. It will allow, to, allow you to um, zap through your channels, to schedule your recordings, and we will bring all the online experience related to our mail service together into the MailGo 2.0. But our success story is not only based on a fantastic product experience. There's another key success factor, and that's brand. Building a, a boldy, fun, strong, aspirational brand has been key to our success. Today, we benefit from number one, a brand awareness amongst all telco brands, and we're number two amongst all brands in Portugal. Huge notoriety. And how do we do that? Well, we hired four um, famous Portuguese actors to tell the male story over time in a fun, inspirational way that our target customers can relate to, the young generation can relate to. I'll just give you a quick feeling of what it looks like. So every time these guys come on, they have a new episode to tell you. Something new about mail, where we're going next, what, what customers can find on our service. A very coherent story, very funny, and very aspirational. Now, I have to say that all this work 
is not, there's, there's a huge uh, efficiency around our marketing investment that also makes the world of difference. Because with every marketing dollar spent, we spend less than our customers, than our competitors, and we get a lot more out of it, a lot more brand awareness. So, you know, big congrats to our marketing team who've done this fantastic job with such a small investment when compared to our competitors who have lower brand recalls. And today, we feel that we don't not only have huge notoriety, a notorious brand, but all and above all, we have a love brand, and that's very powerful. So I will now pass over to my colleague, Celso Martinho, responsible for SAPU Digital Service Development. Thank you very much.